Hi there and welcome back to my channel, the place to be when it comes to gut health and overall well-being. So before we dive into today's video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell just to make sure to stay updated on whenever I post a new video every Tuesday. So with that said, let's dive into today's video. So perhaps you've asked yourself, do I need to take probiotics? What kind of probiotics do I need to take? And what are actually probiotics good for? If that is the case, then this is the perfect video for you. So with that said, let's just back up a bit um, and just first talk about, so what are probiotics? So probiotics are essentially healthy gut bacteria. But the healthy gut bacteria actually needs to earn the title probiotic uh, to be considered a, a probiotic. And there are a few criteria that it needs to fulfill in order to, to get that title. So first of all, they need to be alive, they need to be present in large numbers, and they also need to have evidence of a health benefit. So if they do fulfill these three, then it's a probiotic. And then you might be asking, so why or what are healthy gut bacteria actually good for? So first of all, it's just essential for overall gut health, but they also do some amazing specific things. So for one thing, they actually can support with the production of certain vitamins. So, for example, vitamin K and also a few different B vitamins. And they can also, uh, they do also support the production of neurotransmitters such as serotonin, which is our happy hormone. So, just a little fun fact um, on the side. So, 90% of um, serotonin, of our happy hormones, are actually produced in the gut. So, that's a quite incredible number. And apart from that, healthy gut bacteria also support our immune system. It also supports gut movements and overall gut function. It can help to balance blood sugar level and control appetite and also prevent the invasion of uh, bad gut bacteria. With that said, we do need some uh, bad bacteria in our gut, but we just want to make sure that the healthy gut bacteria population has the majority down there. And you might be aware of the fact that there are probiotic supplements, but I always advise to start from the plate. And especially in this case when there are so many amazing probiotic foods, also known as fermented foods. So just a few examples. So you have things like natto, tempeh, miso, kombucha, um, and sauerkraut, just to, to give a few um, examples. And so fermented foods are not only do they add new healthy gut bacteria, but they also come loaded with something known as prebiotics, which are fibers that essentially uh, feed the existing um, healthy uh, gut bacteria. And if that's not enough, they also, so fermented foods, they also add um, diversity into your diet, which is another thing that your healthy gut bacteria absolutely loves. So then what about probiotic supplements? Do you really need to take them? So as a general guideline, if you are healthy, um, you typically don't need to take a probiotic supplement. But if you're uh, going through and struggling with gut disorders such as, let's say, IBS or Candida, um, it might be advisable for you to take a probiotic supplement. But with that said, what's really important here is that you know what kind of probiotic supplement to take um, for your specific symptoms. Otherwise, you might just be wasting money uh, on a probiotic supplement that simply doesn't do anything um, for you. So with that said, it's important to first establish what your symptoms are and then choose a probiotic supplement based on that. And if you want a, a great guide um, as, as a reference, then you can go to usprobioticguide.com and that has some really great information on 
what kind of probiotic is good, for example, if you have IBS or any other um, gut disorder. And then also leave the link in the description below. So with that said, I hope this short and sweet video answer some of your questions that you may have had around probiotics and if you have any other questions around it just let me know in in the comment section below so with that said thank you so much for joining this week's video and if you did enjoy this video if you found it helpful go ahead and give it a like and another thing i would love to hear what fermented food that you would like to try out and experiment with so let me know in in the comment section uh, below with that said i will see you next time Thank you.